Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today I'm going to talk a little bit about my favorite free plugins to use uh, in Framer. These are plugins that I use um, basically on a daily basis. Some of them are quite new that I just discovered today in my research. And today I want to show you basically how to use them, what they're good for. And these plugins range from things like free components, style generators, um, things for, for bettering your, your workflow with colors, icons, text, text generation, uh, background patterns, uh, a better workflow for images, and much more. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, um, stick around and let's start. So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually a tool called Compo. It's a free component library that you find right here in Framer. And if you go to plugins and you search Compa and click enter, you can basically create a free account with your email. And once you're in, you have a set of different blocks that you can use, right? I always tend to use the nav bar uh, because, you know, building a nav bar can be quite tedious. It involves a little bit of work and maybe you're just too lazy and you just want to have a standard uh, nav bar, right? So you can just integrate it like this, make sure that, it, that the width is set to fill and you'll have a nav bar right there done for you. You can also switch and add, for example, hero sections and it, it's just as easy as this you know, make uh, just drag and drop, right? So this is the first thing that I want to show you. And it's uh, a free component library called Compa. Now, once you insert these uh, different sections, right? Let's say, for example, we just select this header, for example, we can scroll down here and you can see that these texts don't have a, don't have a style, right? They don't have a, a, a text style. And this is something that um, we can fix uh, with a few plugins. So there's something called type system so there's two there's type system and type scale generator type system is the first one that um, was created by one of my favorite framer creators called cedric um, and basically you can here go through different types of uh, systems right scaling systems right you have this one that's 90 pixels and then the sec the h2 is 67 so it has like a very nice scaling system for you um, this one being the most extreme one the golden ratio and to the most, um, how would you call it, like uh, exponential uh, sizing one called minor second. And then once you're done with that, you can basically, you know, uh, adjust the body line, uh, adjust the heading line, the base size, you can make it, you know, 14 pixels, right? Um, you can also edit the font. So instead of enter, you want to put something like pop-ins, you can do that. And then you can generate the font. So that's one of them. But the one that I really like, so if we press type again, type scale generator is actually a really cool one because if you were to click on this, not only can you set the, the base font and the scale ratio, but you can also choose a design system that, um, that is consistent with IBM, for example, or Shopify, right? And I find this pretty interesting um, and you can basically just click on apply and if you go to your assets, it's basically there under your textiles and you can just replace everything with this Shopify style, right? So this is one cool way of adding a, a textiles to your project. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is colors. So right now, Compa gives you this, you know, unique blue color, right? And if I were to unlink and replace this nav bar and go deeper into this button, so let's just unlink and replace this button. Basically what you can do, they give you this blue, but maybe you want to, you, you want to change the color and you want to keep it something consistent with this. You want to, you want to change it, but you don't really know. So you want to kind of brainstorm. And what you can do is there's this plugin called, um, the color palettes, which basically you can kind of choose them. For example, you want to, you want to have more orange or let's say you want to have more of a, well, teal, I don't really like maybe something pink, fuchsia. You can add these colors and they're basically, uh, we can generate dark mode colors. So I'm going to show you right now what that means. But if I add these color assets right now, we're going to have them under here, all of these, perfect. And what you can do is you can replace this blue with one of these. And, and basically, it's just as easy as that we can we can also replace the shadow with this color. 
boom, as easy as that. And it also gives you by default these different weights. And another way of looking at that is, for example, if I were to click on this shades and tints, you can select a specific layer, for example, um, Well, let's make a th something like this. You can select a, a specific color and it creates, it's supposed to be creating uh, styles based off, that, off of that color, but okay, here it is. So it creates like shades like this. So basically I created this pink with this color, but you can, you know, choose these uh, different monochrome options and add them to your style as well. If you already have like a brand color, right? But if you don't have a brand color, it's best to use like color palettes. If you do have a brand color and you want to make like different other shades of that main color, you can use this uh, shades and tints plugin. Now for icons, there's a few different options that we can use. One option that I really like and that I've used in other tools like Figma is one called Iconify. So if I were to click on this, basically we have a bunch of different icons from different libraries. So we have from materials, we have material symbols light. So this is basically the same, but dark, uh, but you know, with a, a thicker width. And we have from all of these different, uh, these different libraries, right? So we have like from elegance, we have from font awesome. Uh, we also have other ones like emoji, right? Uh, Twitter emojis, which is pretty interesting. Web3 icons. There's a big variety of icons to choose from. That's why I particularly like this a lot. We also have the, these logos, um, which also works, but there's another one that's really great for logos. And it's this one called uh, Logofy. And basically all the logos come in a default white color. And basically what you can do is they're SVGs, so you can change the colors to make to change the color weight or make them black, for example. It's perfect for, for, for example, testimonial clients or something like that. So you can click on Ferrari and you can see that if you were to double click, you can change the color to something like black. All right, so this is just a cool example of different logos that you can use in your project for free in Framer. Now for text generation, there are a few options we can use a simple tool like lorem ipsum and we can click on a specific uh, description this is again for maybe templates or something like that or if you want to just create like a template for a, a client that you want to you know just convince right you can create a lorem ipsum with this with this uh, plugin you can create uh, different paragraphs so you can create like two paragraphs for example um, or just one and this is a great way of just adding some placeholder text there's also another thing. So if I were to duplicate this, bring this to the top and just leave this empty for now, what I can do is I can choose this and let me zoom in a little bit closer because with this icon, uh, sorry, this plugin called text generator, you can basically generate different names, different phones, different reviews. So these are like, you know, placeholder reviews. This is also great for creating templates that are more like agency templates for example you can create addresses in the united states um, so this is also really great for you know quickly adding some information instead of you just trying to think you know that this exists and you can add it easily right now for images what we can do is we can also we can click on this for example that we know that this has an image fill as a placeholder and instead of choosing an image from your computer what you can do is you can go down here to plugins and there's a few plugins that you can use. Some of them you might be aware of like Unsplash, but there's some like, for example, Lumi that I've used a lot uh, recently in my, in my other videos for, um, for post placeholders. And th this is basically like AI generated, uh, AI generated uh, images, right? So we have, you can click on uh, type pink and you can come up with all of these different things. So let's, for example, use this one and boom and basically there's other stuff like uh fram framogen which uh, are you know also ai tools but you have to basically log in to create we don't want to do that for this one and you can also add some effects 
so if we click on effects we can add like a blur effects we can add like a dual tone brightness or we can even add like a type of glitch effect increase the glitch effect to be more glitchy press apply and boom really easy uh all inside a framer of course and another image plugin that i like to use i haven't really used it a lot but i think it's very you know handy to know about is the remove background so you can just in, in you know introduce an image like this into your project click on it go down here to the fill click on plugins and on the bottom we have this remove background just click on it and then you just gotta wait a few seconds and once it's done it's gonna basically have a, a clear um it's gonna clear the background of, of the image so yeah boom this is exactly what i was talking about just gotta wait like 10 15 seconds and it will generate a nice clean image you can even look at the you know the borders and it looks really nice so um let's delete this and now i want to focus on some different techniques to add some patterns or some nice effects in your background so two plugins that i want to introduce the first one is depth grid so with depth grid you have this view area right here and you can actually edit the view area to uh, you know to see how you want it to look like we can add dots we can either add a plane or a tunnel and the tunnel can look something like this so we can add some cool effect like this for example increase the density the density or decrease it let's maybe increase it a little bit and we can probably add some nice um color like this and eventually we can add it to the canvas and boom you can see it's added here and what we can do is we can bring it inside of our nav bar make it absolute and make sure that this is set to the index of zero so it's not overlapping the image and we can just make sure that you know the width and height are set to a relative of a hundred and kind of in the middle of everything right so now we got like this nice little background uh, pattern going on that looks pretty pretty funky right obviously we can change it if you don't like this tunnel you can do it obviously like a pers perspective with uh with the dots that was the other example that we saw Another thing that I want to show you is a shader gradient. So if we click on shader gradient, we have these different uh, options that we can choose from, from a halo to cotton candy, which is like very, you know, as you can see, kind of subtle animations. We have this Mandarin sunset. So once you choose one that you really like, you can just add the shader gradient. It's going to add it to your project really quickly. And you, you can basically change the different colors, the different effects. You can turn off or on the animation. Um, you can select different types of shaders that it has. Uh, you can, you know, affect the strength of the noise to be stronger or not stronger. The pixel density, so... Um, and more things, right? You can go, go all out and, and see it what you want, but necessarily this color I don't really like. Um, and I don't really want to go deep, but I just want to show you that this exists and it's uh, completely for free. Not another plugin that I really like, and it is uh, kind of important. I've never used it, but I really want to use it. It's this to-do list one. It's very simple, but I want to do this in my next uh, live build, a client live build video, because here you can easily write down what the client is asking, for example, and you can go step by step. So let's say uh, finish uh, hero text animation right and press enter or uh, add icons to features uh, section enter and what you can do is you can press this and basically it says all tasks are you're done very simple you can remove some of these tasks which are completely done i think it's so cool to that we have this in in, in framer i usually do this in my notes app uh, but it's awesome to to see that we can actually can have this in our own project um, right in framer now the next thing that i really like is this uh, one called asset manager and basically when your project has a bunch of different images instead of going through each image clicking it on it uh, clicking on the image clicking on the fill 
and then adding the alt text there you basically here have a, a a dashboard of all of your different images and you can go one by one and just write the alt text like this so this would be like for example you know a woman dressed dressed in pink looking at the camera something like that for example i'm just writing a random text but here you you basically have all of your different uh, different images and you can have an overview of all the images for example this tunnel svg i didn't even know it was an image i would have totally overlooked that but you can see it here right and the last plugin that i want to show you today is called react export and basically i've heard a lot in the community that people kind of complain that in framer you can't really export your pages really easily and in webflow you can for example but uh, actually with this react export you can export uh, particular uh, components with react and basically it's a very easy sign up process you just sign up with your google account you're in and then basically you can select different sections of your of your site and export them and basically all you have to do is just follow these different um, steps right here running this command and basically at the end getting access to your component now i go to this site a lot basically this is like the marketplace for plugins in framer and you can kind of get an overview of all the all of the different plugins that are in the framer marketplace right but another great uh, place for looking for these types of things and 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 the updates of each plugins is here in the plugin community right it's a very active community uh this framer community i'm gonna link it down in the description below but basically you can see you can read about the different plugins, about people, what people are requesting if they if there are plugin ideas, right? Which is great if you're a developer and there's a lot of you know uh, room for for improvement in some of in, in, in Framer. Obviously, it's a it's a great tool that's growing, and there's a lot of ideas that people are considering, right? And also, there's a bunch of resources that creators like myself are posting in uh, the Framer community. And basically, you, a lot of these resources are, are for free, right? So this this is not a, a plugin, but basically this is a good thing to know just to keep your eyes open in this framework community and just stay updated. There's a bunch of things uh, that are that are out there. Like for example, I put this blurry background nav bar. Um, you know, Nandi uh, added some some image gallery open interaction. Uh, remix link so basically go there and check to see what types of things you're looking for and you'll probably find it right so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video today it was a blast doing this little research i use a, a lot of i use i'll probably say 90 percent of these plugins and i will definitely start using the other 10 percent after this video so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you bye bye